Hello, everyone. All right. Today, I have an AliExpress haul. Yep, I finally ordered from AliExpress. It's been quite a while. It's probably been three years, I think, since I've ordered from AliExpress. Um, I just, you know, I get turned off by Temu. I'll be honest. I just don't like the way that the uh, the app works and it's constantly trying to get you to use their coupons. And I don't know. I just find that the stuff is cheaper on AliExpress. That's just me. Plus it's free shipping. I don't have to deal with um, these coupons that keep on popping up like on Temu and trying to get you to just only buy the stuff that's like uh, whatever is on sale at that moment or something like that. Otherwise you lose the coupon. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I had to wait about two, yeah, I had to wait two weeks to get my stuff. And, um, because I live in Memphis, um, it does take quite a while versus people that are getting their stuff on the West coast. Uh, hold on here. There is actually one more item that I'm waiting for. But um, that one had to clear customs because it's liquid. And um, I will say that it is actually some eyebrow sealer because it's what I use to um, seal, obviously, my eyebrow powder. Um, I wanted to try out the stuff that um, they sell on AliExpress because it's really hard to find here in the U.S. I um, used to buy it from... Um, from where is this from Daiso, but um, they don't sell it anymore. The last time I was able to buy it from Daiso, that was um, on the website on the Daiso USA website. And luckily, at the time that I bought it, I bought like 10 of them, I think. Um, so it's lasted me quite a while. I think when I did buy this, was at the onset of the pandemic, so that was 2020. So, yeah, so my stuff had lasted about four years, but I think I only have like maybe one or two bottles left and they were very, very small bottles, so, but I still have like a stash that, um, of it that I also purchased from somebody in Japan that was, um, I forgot what you call it, like shopping for other people. And I had her go to Daiso. And so she was able to get me another six bottles, but it's a different, um, it's a different company, um, that makes it. So anyways, before I get into the um, AliExpress stuff, I wanted to show something that I purchased on Macari. Now, this is um, a Starbucks wallet. This was particular to San Francisco. When I went to visit back in October, I did see this at the Starbucks stores that I happened upon. Um, like in particular, there's a Starbucks on Fillmore. I saw this and I was so tempted at the time and I was, you know, I talked myself out of getting it because I'm like, what am I going to do with, you know, that wallet? It's, but it's just pretty and it's, you know, it's very particular to San Francisco. And this is supposed to be Lombard Street, which is, as it's known, the crookedest street in the world, but it's not the crookedest street in San Francisco. Um, anyways, it's, you know, it's a nice little vinyl wallet. I got this on Macari when I finally decided to go ahead and, and purchase it because Macari had given me a $10 off coupon on any purchase. So um, this was, I think, it, I want to say it was like um, probably $14 or $15. It was the cheapest one at the time when I purchased it. And then, of course, you know, I still had to pay for shipping. So it still came out to about maybe $12. But, I mean, the wallet is... $8.95. Yeah, I should have bought it when I was in San Francisco. But either way, I finally got it. So it's just a really cute coin, you know, wallet with a little fob here. And um, I mean, I may, you know, I may use it, but I just like to collect stuff from San Francisco. So as my friends, you know, know, they send me stuff like this and like this. So yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the haul. So first thing here are some vintage labels. Now, I had seen this on, who is it? Paper Terrace, I think, on her haul from Temu. And she, yeah, she featured one of this. And I went ahead and looked on AliExpress and was able to find it. So they're just vintage labels. And I like that they are, um, you know, the international um style like in terms of like the labels that you had to put on like if you were mailing a letter you know overseas um because i i know i have a stash of it of stickers from the post office 
that I had asked for, and this had to be at least 15 years ago, that had via, you know, airmail or par avion <laughs> on it. And, um, you know, they were always red and blue, red, <laughs> red and blue. And I don't think there's any like it here. Let me see, like this. They were kind of similar to this, but it would just be one little sticker. So yeah, they're really cute. And I definitely want to use these as far as, you know, to decorate like the traveler's notebooks. Um, I think they would look really good on them. So that's why I, I went ahead and ordered this. Um, I like that you do get a lot of them. I think there's like three for each. Yeah, you get three of each. So, um, and I think it said it was a hundred, a hundred stickers or something like that. But they're pretty good quality. They're not, you know, they're not flimsy. Um, but yeah, I did get that. And this was probably, I know it was less than $2 maybe, or right at $2. So that's not bad. I mean, you know, for vintage label stickers, uh, it's a pretty good deal. So yeah, I'm kind of glad that she featured that in her, um, in her haul. And if you're curious, they're by Mocard. Makes a lot of great stuff. Sorry, I switched lenses, so I'm using the kit lens on, for my camera. So if you're getting a different perspective than what you normally get when I use the 22 millimeter one. Okay, so I ordered several of these. Now, um, these are little um, sticker books, okay? And Let's go ahead and open one. This one says The Pursuit of Happiness. And it looks like this. Now, they're a lot smaller than I thought they were going to be. I don't know why I was thinking they were going to be bigger. But um, it's like vellum sticker. Actually, no, it's not sticker. They're just like vellum sheets. Let me get up closer. The great thing about this lens is that I've lowered it on the stand, so I'm not having to reach too far to get into focus. When I touch the screen. So yeah, so this is, you know, this will be good for like in your journal or if you're going to do some junk journal collage work. Um, the only thing is that, yeah, it's vellum. I kind of wish it was on um, thicker, denser paper. <laughs> um, I can always back it with cardstock and I may do that um, if I don't like how see-through it looks when I'm layering. So this one is Japanese style. Okay. And so there's pictures of Mount Fuji. Yeah. It's just like, they're really dark. I might have to back it because I don't, I need it to be, um, why is it that I never have like a, sh a white sheet of paper? Here we go. My old ticket. So yeah, I think I'll do that just to make it stand out more. Um, these are always going to be like Mount Fuji and the shrines and the temples. So have that one. I think these were maybe like a dollar seventy-five. So there's one for astrology, and yeah. So each one's going to obviously feature um, the zodiac sign, and then you know, well. I wonder what that one's supposed to be. Huh. Some of these, I would think, I'm trying to find my sign on here, and I don't see it. I'm not sure if this is showing up too dark on the camera. I think this is more like the tarot cards than it is like actual astrology. We've got flowers and clusters here. And these are much lighter. Okay, this looks good. So let me get up closer and focus. So yeah, and it's, yeah, that's what it looks like. I think there's maybe 50 sheets in each booklet. Um, and then we've got daily things. And I think this is more like ledgers and checks and invoices. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. So 
So this will work out really well for um, ATC card, ATC work, because they're much, it's, you know, it's much smaller and it'll fit better on the cards. This one was, um, I was happy with this. These are labels and I chose the purple ones. And I love how these are gilded as well. So that's what the box looks like. And then let's go ahead and open. So here we go. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's like iridescent. See, that'll really stand out when you use them. This is good day. And then some of them are not iridescent, but um, this one was probably $2 or so, I think. I know that when I put the order in it, I, I, you know, I was trying to stay at least around $20. I had a lot of stuff in my cart, but I just didn't really want to spend too much since, like I said, I hadn't ordered in a while. So wasn't sure how AliExpress, you know, worked these days. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, the tracking was great. I mean, it was um, updating a lot more than it used to. So um, I wasn't pissed or anything that it was late. In fact, I think they give you $5 or something like that if it's late. So that one item, if I don't get it tomorrow, then... I should be able to like get $5 credit. Okay, so this one right here, this one did cost more. This was probably about maybe $4, this pack. So it's supposed, it says film about once is what it is, but it's all kind of like film and negative related. Negative meaning film negatives. Um, and I wanna say that there was a hundred pieces in this. So here we go. Now this one was like a pad, okay, and there's about 50 sheets. So these look like, to me, especially this, this looks like the, um, the what do you call it, the box for film. Um, like obviously 120 um, film there, and then, I don't even know what 366 is. But like 250, that would be like the ISO right there, as it says. Um, but yeah, I thought that was cute. We've got some, um, individual stickers here, like strips. That's not the same. And then some like, um, well, this is what you would look, you would see through a lens. Um, in the viewfinder, so let's put this like that, right? And then we've got a lot of like um, stickers here, I guess for like that kind of grunged look. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those, but we'll see. And then we've got some negatives. <laughs> It always cracks me up when I see stuff like this that people think, oh, that looks so cool. But to me, this is like, uh, the light had, um, it, you know, the film got exposed because they probably opened the back of the camera. <laughs> and so you've basically wasted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven shots right there. And who knows if it was on a roll of 12, 24, or 36. So... Okay, so then we have this as well. This would be like the view, the, uh, yeah, the monitor or whatever you want to call it on the camera. So you see here, and it has the grid lines. I guess it was like that. Yeah, it has grid lines. And then this one, it's got the focus, the battery right there. Um, God, there's so many of these, like I said. Not sure what I'm going to do with those, but I'll figure it out. And then tons of like negatives. Look at that. So this is, this is in color. So this would be not negative, but um, slide film positive. But it's kind of weird that it only cuts, um, that you don't see the other side. Like they cut it off. Yeah, see, 
that's like wasted film right there. <laughs> that's why I never understood the whole Lomo um, filters or just the Lomo effect. Because to me, Lomo, like, well, kids, kids, I'm so old. Um, I'm Gen X. Kids, these, you know, these days would consider Lomo as creative. But for me, who learned how to shoot film before there was digital, Lomo to me is like, that's bad photography because you, it's, you know, let light in and expose the negatives. Um, okay. And then we've got, what is this? That's kind of weird, but it's still cool. And a lot of like the frames, um, this would be like for the color slides. Because when you get your slides, um, your slide film or your positive film developed, they would come, each one would come like this. One picture would come like on a thing like this. See, this, this is what it is right here. And then you would fold it and then uh, it'd be enclosed. So that's why you would see those old um, slide projectors to be able to view the pictures, just show them off. Wow, this is a lot. Nowadays, like people are like using these for like the specimen cards when they're doing like um, junk journal. I have the die for the specimen cards and it's much, much bigger than this. That's weird. Why does it look like that? And then you got this one. So each one would be a frame. Yeah, and it's just getting smaller and smaller. I guess this could be, and it's been a long time, 110 film since it's smaller. And that's kind of funny. And then the last one here. Um, I guess this is just showing all that's in the kit. So I like that it came in this little um, folder to store it all. So that was nice. Okay, put it all back in. I don't want to make a mess and lose everything. Okay. All right. So we got all that. I know I'm not really good at like displaying stuff after I've shown it. Um, mostly because I have a very limited space here. My shooting table is um, from Ikea. It's that small square table, but I have like a, um, what do you call it? I have a foam board on the top to expand it more. Okay, so then we have these stickers. Now, I've used these stickers many times before. Um, let me give you an example here. This is something that I've been working on. These are playing cards from Dollar Tree. And let me see. Yeah, so these are cards that I purchased a long time ago from Shein. And when I ordered these, I didn't realize that they're pretty much the same. The only difference is that these were like more see-through versus these are not. So this is great. I mean, I'm still happy with them um, because of the fact that they're not a see-through. I may order some more um, in the future. But there was like a pack of 50 of them and they're just all various girls wearing the masks or not. Um, and you probably have seen these online um, from other crafters. And these are actually pretty big. They're even bigger than the ones that I already have. Um, let me see if I can pull that girl. Here she is. I mean, that's huge. You know, that would be really big on a ATC because the, this, these playing cards are the same size as ATC. So, yeah, that's pretty big. This is an unfinished one. I need to finish. But anyways, um, yeah, see, they're just, I like them. To kind of set the mood on a project so I probably have like 500 of these <laughs> because I know that the ones that I had ordered from she and I ordered like multiple packs because I just wanted to be sure I wasn't going to run out because I knew I was going to use them for a lot of different projects and I have I still have a number of them okay so the last bit here that we have are two um Two accessories I'm going to be putting on um, my Travers notebooks. So they're metal tags. This one I have not opened, it looks like. Okay, hold on. Let's 
So this one was a constellation series. And I went ahead and got my zodiac sign, which is Cancer. And there's the, the back of it, which is kind of weird because where's the uh, constellation? But it just says imaginative. Okay. But I like that it's kind of, you know, it's vintage looking old brass, I guess. And then this one here is much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, it came with this little, I guess you could have used it as a necklace. That's kind of weird. Came with that. And then this is what it looks like. Like I said, it's huge. That's going to be really big on Traveler's Notebook. So it says Traveler's Star. Uh, I think that, yeah, this was from the Hong Kong um, collab or whatever you want to call it. When Traveler's Notebook, yeah, had done... Um, they had done a limited edition um, one for, um, what do you call it? For Hong Kong. Here, I'll show you how big that is. So this is an, this is an actual um, medal that I got from um, the Narita Airport at the Traveler's Notebook. So it's the Japan one, okay? And this is the one that I just bought from AliExpress. So you can see just how much bigger it is. So yeah, it came out okay. I mean, I don't mind. I might go ahead and order another one, the other version that they have, because um, I have several of these and I want to always have at least some kind of a accessory or a tag or something like that on. Um, but I just wanted to see what the quality is. And it's pretty, um, yeah, it's, it's thick. It's not pliable or anything like that. I can't bend it. And it's got some weight to it. So that's my little haul from AliExpress. Um, I will go ahead and just show a project that I did. So this is a tag that I had started working on. I'm not, I don't think I'm finished with it yet because I have some extra space over here. Um, I may still add some more over here, but I just like the color scheme because it was this dress that um, I worked around everything. Um, well, of course, I mean, I lay the background, right? And then I picked the girl and it was that color scheme. Then I worked everything else. So I've been doing tags and I've been doing ATC cards in the last two weeks and it's been fun. Um, I like that it's on a small, you know, everything's on a smaller scale. So it's not going to take up a lot of work, you know, space. In other words, um, for me to store all of this stuff away. All right. So that's the haul. And I hope that everybody's having a great weekend and a great week. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.